Men in the porn industry, what are the dark and hidden truths of the industry? I think they're only doing it for the money, sadly. I knew a dude worked in the Japanese a industry. He said that often due to the pixelation there wouldn't be, and for the money shots, the guys would often hold a tiny hose on their Johnson with fake ass being pumped from off camera. Most of the stepmother scenes are filmed by actresses with no marital or familial relationship to the actor. They just lie about it. No way. Most of the shoots do have. Sometimes they can't be bothered to try to find flesh-colored condoms so it'll hella stand out in some scenes if they don't fake thing happens. It's not particularly rare, but I'd still say it's an uncommon practice. Anytime it starts to take too long, out comes the squeeze bottle. Especially in too many random dudes who jumped at the chance to be in a video, but can't get past the stage fright. That's why you'll generally see the same like nine dudes in every single production. Trimix use is rampant. So many injuries cause of suspensory ligament division. If you can't on command you're pretty much never gonna get a job with a larger studio. I don't know about the other studios, but pretty much any shoot in Burbank is at a rented property. The whole place ends up smelling like sweat and it is being shot. I wanna know about pay. We all have tiny penises, it's just Hollywood magic. You think the actress is but it's just forced perspective, she's actually 5 feet across the room like those scenes from LOTR. Chews up its talent in some pretty cruel ways, man or this thing called the magic aidsa, or at least there used to be. 8. Can last at least 80 minutes and still a** on command, and can keep it up while at least 8 people just with the magic aidsa, dudes will never make the same kind of money as their female co-workers in straight. If you are a dude, you need often need to do just to earn a decent aren't really a thing when sildenafil a is amount of a misconduct on set is bonkers. It's very common for experienced talent, with no ethics to take advantage of new talent before or after a scene to show them the in a period a up your personal dating life, even if you are an accountant or marketing. Just mentioning that you work for, company, makes people very leery about dating you. You are almost entirely restricted to dating in the industry. Which sucks when you are just an accountant trying to get since people are asking. Yes I did work in the a** industry for a very brief period. I was an equipment manager for one of the production houses. I did not date any models, but I did date in the industry. I mostly just received inventory, but I also was in charge of loaning out assets like cameras, audio recording gear, lighting, etc. We would order gear, and it was my job to receive it, tag it, put it into inventory, then check it out for use. I have always wondered about this, coming on command, thing. Is it something that people are born and able to do or do they practice for it somehow and master it? And here I thought people just used Trimix for scuba. Why would an accountant have trouble dating? They can just say they are an accountant at a production company and that's about it. This got me confused. I was wondering what an erectile dysfunction med had to do with scuba. Didn't know that it had the same name as the breathing gas. But yeah, there's by tri and quad mix that refer to the how many ingredients are in the end medication. This is the truth I came here for. You would think so, but eventually it comes out that you aren't accounting for some boring firm. You are now a a accountant. A mix of both probably. It's not like on command like a trigger pull. It's more like, I'm gonna need you to in the next 30 to 60 seconds so we can wrap this a I don't know if you can practice and master it. It's a lot like getting in when you need to. You just gotta get in that right head space and let it happen regardless of the crowd watching, camera shutters going off, etc. Musical note. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's musical notes. Next you're gonna tell me she did not really get stuck in the washing machine. The refrigerator never gets fixed. Sad face. Yeah you're going to tell me there are no a girls in my area waiting to meet me. You are never going to get paid as much as females do, even if you're a star in the category. Female actors, even amateurs, make significantly more per additionally, those women in the cam and subscriber sites have significantly more opportunity and income compared to any male asterisk if he is even allowed to sign up. My ex makes good money from OnlyFans. It is sketchy as lots do everything by the book, keep IDs, test regularly, have contracts, pay taxes, do safe meets etc. But there are many who don't. 
The site changed their rules a couple of years ago in an attempt to ensure that everyone featured was of age and consenting. It essentially meant to feature in a video you had to have your own OnlyFans account and be verified by them. Because of it he had to remove a few videos because some wouldn't agree to join. He was contacted by a reasonably well-known creator who offered to make that all go away. They blur the videos and then have another creator claim that they are in the video. My ex reported this to OnlyFans and supplied proof of it happening with messages and videos that tagged multiple creators in videos that clearly are not them and it was ignored. What it essentially means is that there are countless people who have no idea they have been recorded and used in this way being exploited for cash. The doxing is also very a weird. I was in one video with my ex, consensually, and we did everything right. My tattoos were covered up, my face was obscured, we didn't use names, and he has a pseudonym. Despite that he was identified, probably by someone he filmed with, they gained access to his social media, found a picture of us together at a gym event, blew them up alongside grabs from the video, and mapped our a moles and doxed him and me. Only knew it happened because one of the a couldn't resist messaging me on Instagram to tell me he knew my secret. They are a also a massive issue of a assault. My ex is a strict top while being filmed but he's gone to a collab where everything has been pre-agreed, and he's turned up and there's three guys who want to a film a different scene this idea that the studio system was exploitative and self-publishing content creators have taken the power back, but the simple fact is that it still can be abusive and you can still end up watching someone being abused. All those shower scenes are super cold. We're freezing out at off in there because otherwise the camera lenses and equipment would be at from the steam. Not in the industry anymore, but did some real amateur for about a year when I was in college for extra money. The only dark truth I can recall was that they expressly stipulated that the advertised compensation was only for men who were willing to do some MM scenes. The MF scenes only paid about 45% of the advertised compensation. I'm bi so it wasn't a big deal, but just know you'll have to be okay with MM action if you want to make the good money. I mean, there was also the encouragement of stacking amphetamines and sildenafil to enhance erections and keep it hard, so the fluffers didn't have to bounce around in progress scenes as much. But I've always figured people assumed that anyway lol. Instructions a stuck in a mouse trap. Horses don't look like horses on film, so if a scene requires a horse, they usually just tape a bunch of cats together. Yeah, I had a friend who did copy editing, web and print layout for a a toy company and a lot of their friends were also in the industry. Sysadmin for a websites. Database admin for a websites. Ad network programmer for a ad networks. It's a weird little niche. I can do flaccid to in 20 to 30 seconds but I can't last longer. Greater than Sildenafil I thought the medical name for a was Mycoxaflopin. Well makes sense, I would assume for one girl willing to do a you can find at least asterisk 10 guys. Some of them probably willing to perform for free. Huh, that makes total sense. Next you're going to tell me that that 2023 filmed Riley Reed video was in fact, not, her first time. You have just answered a question I've had forever. Is that the same for all water related scenes? Oof, fluffers are a real thing? They what, just like casually a you to get you hard while something else. Their entire job is to keep guys hard while the producers, cameramen do their thing mid-shoot. Without drugs it's pretty difficult to keep a rager going, which is why even with fluffers a lot of guys end up with a floppy three quarters hard whiskey haha. Oh so that's why Gandalf's a looked super huge going into Frodo's mouth. How the a do people a on command? Do constant suppression for a scene until the moment and then you just stop the mental blockage? 